I am ready. We're gonna start off with. Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Devin Raspberry video. I don't really know what YouTube's been up to lately. I you know, haven't posted in, but that's why we're making some more of these videos to uh, get the ball rolling a little more. So today we're gonna be talking about the five top skate parks in our opinion in British Columbia and Hull. We're talking about all of British Columbia this time. Wow, camera. There we go. Devin. So guys, big shout out to the sponsor, Legacy Pro Scooters, uh, or Legacy Pro Shop on Instagram. Go give that a follow right there. Uh, Go flat, I guess, Barry. yeah. <laughs> and let's get this video started. So the very first skate park on our list today is Railside Ooh. Skate Park or Railside Youth Park. There you go, guys. It's located out in Port Coquitlam, somewhere in the Vancouver area there. Great skate park, honestly. We ran quite a few Evolve camps there in the past. What do you think about it, man? It's, uh, it's really big. It's got diversity. It's got the street section, the street section, with all the ledges, rails, plaza, whatever. And then you got the big old bowl on the side, too. The only thing that sucks at this, at this skate park is the concrete. It's like sandpaper. So if you fall, you're going home with some bloody knees and elbows. But yeah. so if you fall, it's... Uh, it's not fun, it's, but... It's wear some baggy clothes for Railside, guys. Uh, but overall, Railside, like he said, this park has pretty much everything you'd be looking to ride. What do you give this park out of 10? I give it... I mean, I like I like how it has everything you can ride. The rough concrete just kind of sucks. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. If yeah. it had smooth concrete, like that, those other parks in West Van, like that new one, I'd give it like a 9, 9.5, but, but... I'm gonna give it an 8, so let's. that's just 8 right there. If you guys want to check out the video that we filmed at Railside Skate Park, it's gonna cards. be up in the cards there. Yeah. Next up on our list, Connor, do you want to introduce us to the next skate park on our list? Maybe one of the most underrated and goaded skate parks of BC. Mount Nelson Skate Park, we just call it Invermere Skate Park. If you guys know where Invermere is, it's located right outside of Radium Hot Springs. We're in that kind of Kootenai National Park area. If you want to hit up this park, guys, recommend it. Uh, yes. It has a bowl, it has an amazing street section, the concrete is so smooth. They have the gnarliest curve rail. I've never seen someone hit it in person. Avery's hit it, I'm pretty sure. That'd be cool. Oh yeah, shout out check to Avery, his, man. Check his Instagram. Shout out to Avery. It. Bro, this skate park's bowl, it's like detached from the whole skate park, but man, that thing is so nice to ride, dude. Right next to the park, there's also two large soccer fields and a awesome little dirt pump track. So if you guys are just kind of going for the afternoon, in Vermeer Skate Park, guys. Yeah. This skate park, to me, I'm going to give it a solid 9 out of 10. Same. Uh, this park's goaded, man. Has amazing flyout as well as a roller flyout. If you guys want to check out some of the videos that we made at that skate park, we'd go for a trip time every year. We'd go to trip. Yep. Trip to the skate park just because it's so yes. nice. So next up on our list there, probably my favorite skate park on this list. Uh, it's going to be Whistler Municipal Skate Park. Uh, located down in beautiful Whistler, BC, guys, just off of the Blackcomb and Whistler Village. Uh, this skate park is probably one of the largest ones in Canada for sure. I think it's the second largest. Second largest? If I remember correctly, yeah. Could be, could be. Uh, this skate park has a giant snake run. Uh, it has a amazing quarter quarter with like a hump in the middle section and it's giant. Uh, if you like riding big air and kind of big, big ramps the skate park's it guys this place has got everything everything so. you need uh so if I you're think, like the one downside to this park though is some of the quarters transitions are pretty rough because i think it's an older park for sure pretty uh, sure it's just because they expanded the park later on in the years so they made like one section really like modern and then the other section which which like the main skate park was uh this skate park is awesome for that stuff yeah, it's got a four star rating already. I can see it. Four star rating on the skateparktours.ca. This skate park, I'm probably going to be rated a solid nine and a half out of ten, almost a ten for me. I uh, give it a nine. It's it's a it's it's a it's a favorite. Yeah. So fun. If you guys want to check us going to Whistler, it's up in the cards. Yeah, there you go. There's gonna be like eight videos in the cards. Tell us about the next park, man. All right, so next up on the list, we got Kamloops Rotary Skate Park. Not sure why it's called that, but we just call it Kamloops Skate Park. I went here like five years ago one time when it was like this with no graffiti. And recently they got the whole thing painted like blue and green and stuff. So Dude, it's hard. massive, bro. It's like not really big ramps or anything, but this is uh, so this skate park, guys, is 27,000 square feet. Yeah, it's massive, bro. Me and Joel went here uh, when we drove back to Alberta. Nice. New Line added the skate park there, or actions in 2007. It's located off uh, MacArthur Island Park, south of Tranquil Road on 12th Street. Yeah. Just for you guys info there. This if park. If you're driving through Kamloops, man, stop by this place. It's huge. This park needs more locals. Yeah. Same with Invermere. That's what we forgot to add that. Uh, but just looking at Kamloops, I'd give this a solid like eight out of ten. Yeah. I I would say I'd give it an eight and a half. I wouldn't give it anything higher. Probably because like more street orientated for sure. There's probably like 15 different rails you can hit here. It's it's massive. Like if you go in person, bro. 
And the very last skate park on our list, guys. Uh, this skate park with the skate park where I think I landed my like third ever finger whip in my whole life. Uh, so I went to this skate park, uh, a Soyuz skate park located out in the Soyuz, BC. It's one of the warmest places in Canada. Uh, this skate park is phenomenal. It's for a Soyuz. The skate park is really, really cool. It's really, really hot. Concrete's relatively smooth. And one of my favorite obstacles there, guys, is they have a 13-foot bank rolling. Um, so that's this thing right here. Oh, bro, it's 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 massive. Like, yeah, personally, I've never been there. So if you guys ever in a Soyuz and your parents are drinking a ton of wine and you have nowhere to go, a Soyuz skate park, guys. Really I don't cool. think I've ever been to a Soyuz. No? Well, guys, uh, Connor's looking where a Soyuz is. He's I want to go gone. there, man. He's like, the skate park's cool. But that about sums it up for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, go down there, hit that like button. I don't know. If we if we get a reasonable amount of likes on this video or if I get a little bit of feedback, we'll make, a, we'll make more of these or kind of top five skate parks per, like, province maybe. If we missed a couple parks that you think should be on this list, guys, go let us know down there. Tell us we're wrong. Tell us that some of these skate parks maybe are not as good as others. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure to follow Connor and I, and we'll catch you in the next one.